Welcome to the history of movie theaters for Chicago and Cook County for 1930 to 1939. 1930 Balaban and Katz reopens the old Diversey Theater as the Century Theater on February 7. The Bryn Mawr Theater reopens on April 19. The Balaban and Katz Gateway Theater opened on June 27. Balaban and Katz reopens the Biltmore Theater on August 1. On August 29, SNS Theaters opens the Bird and the Lamar Theater in Oak Park. The Davis Theater is also reopened. On September 1, the Ridge Theater places its first ad. The Lindy Theater opened on September 12. The SNS 400 Theater opened on November 8 at the site of the Regent Theater. The SNS Vogue Theater reopened on November 21, it was the old Chateau Theater. The Calumet Theater opened on December 29. These theaters also opened. Here are the changes for 1930. These theaters closed in 1930. 1931. Warner Brothers starts its south side chain of theaters, mostly old national playhouses. Fox Theaters goes bankrupt. Public's Greater Talkies became integrated into the Balaban and Katz chain. On November 7, the Rialto becomes the Lupin Theater. Balaban and Katz opens the Nortown Theater on April 4. Balaban and Katz opens the Southtown Theater in December 25 that's the last large movie palace to be built in Chicago. Here are the changes for 1931. These theaters closed in 1931. 1932. Balaban and Katz reopens the Covent on December 22. These theaters also opened or started its newspaper listings in 1932. Here are the changes for 1932. These theaters closed in 1932. 1933 The old Studebaker becomes the World Playhouse on April 29th. The Midwest Theater opens on September 16th. The Lakeside is reopened by Balaban and Katz on September 20th. The Ardmore Theater reopens on October 7 by SNS Theaters. On December 30, the Old Harper Theater reopens as the Hyde Park Theater. Here are the changes for 1933. The State Congress Theater closed. 1934 John Dillinger was shot and killed by police on July 22nd after a shootout at the Biograph Theater. 
The Garrick Theater is reopened by Balaban and Katz on May 30th. The Apollo Theater is reopened by Balaban and Katz on August 22nd. On September 29th, Balaban and Katz reopens the Paradise. The Capitol Theater reopens as the Alba Theater on December 25th. These theaters also opened in 1934. Here are the changes for 1934. These theaters closed in 1934. 1935 The Ray Theater opens on April 1st. Warner Brothers opens the Beverly Theater on June 4th. The Princess Theater opens September 26th. On October 26th, the Jackson Park Theater reopens. The Avenue reopens on November 8th. The Avon Theater reopens on November 22nd. The Des Plaines Theater in Des Plaines reopens on November 29th. The Ambassador Theater reopens on December 25th. These theaters also opened or reopened in 1935. The Sonatone reopens at the Old Punch and Judy Theater on March 22nd. The old Keystone Theater becomes the Mode Theater on May 25th as Essenus takes it over. Balaban and Katz reopens the Pantheon Theater on December 25th. Here are more changes for 1935. These theaters closed in 1935. 1936 The Lake and Oak Park Theater opened on April 11th. Warner Theaters opens the Ogden Theater on September 4th after rebuilding the Old West Englewood Theater. Balaban and Katz opens the Will Rogers Theater September 5th. The Joy Theater reopened on October 3rd at the Old New Orpheus Theater. The PAL Theater in Palatine opens on October 24th. The Dale Theater opened on November 20th at the site of the Old Rose Theater. The Frolic Theater reopened on December 25th. The Times Theater opened on December 25th. These theaters also opened in 1936. Here are the changes for 1936. These theaters closed in 1936. 1937 The Radio Theater placed its first ads on January 1st, it was the Old Home Theater. The Four Star Theater opens on January 11th. Balaban and Katz opens the Coronet Theater in Evanston on February 19th. The Stadium Theater in Evanston opens on April 16th. 
The Woodlawn Theater opens on August 15. Balaban and Cats opens the Cine Theater on September 9. The Elm Theater in Elmwood Park opens October 1st. On November 11th Balaban and Cats opens the Luna Theater. Warner Brothers opens the Rhodes Theater on November 19th. The Olympic Theater in Cicero opens on November 19th. The Homewood Theater in Homewood opens on November 23rd. The Jeff Theater opened on November 28th. These theaters also opened in 1937. Balaban and Katz reopens the Senate Theater on December 30th after renovations. Here are more changes for 1937. These theaters closed in 1937. Nineteen thirty eight. Essenis Town Theatre placed its first listings on January first. The Esquire Theatre is opened by H and B Balaban on February sixteenth as the leading theatre in the near north. The Coed Theatre opened on March nineteenth. Balaban and Katz sells the Oriental Theater to Jones, Linick and Schaefer who reopened it on November 18. Here are more changes for 1938. These theaters closed in 1938. 1939. The Telenews Newsreel Theater opened on December 23rd. The Walton Theater reopens of the Old Easterly Theater. The Liberty Theater on Fullerton to Essenis Theaters on June 11th. Here are more changes for 1939. These theaters closed in 1939. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.